Hey everyone, this is Mr. R Dizzle 479 and today we have a Torchlight 2 review. Torchlight 2 is an action RPG created by Runic Games, the creators of Fate, and they worked on Diablo 1. They also worked on Diablo 2. They were what is known as Blizzard North back before Blizzard North uh, went out of business, sadly. But, like I said, they created Fate and Diablo 1 and 2. Those were great games. And then they created Torchlight 1 on the console and PC. And Torchlight 1 was an amazing game. It was... Some people said Torchlight 1 was supposed to be like what Diablo 3 should be and everything. But Diablo 3, of course, needs to be a little darker. But Torchlight 2 takes place only a short while after the first game. As Torchlight 1 only happened happen to take place in the Torchlight Mines, Torchlight 2 takes place all over the world. Um, the alchemist from the first game has turned dark and is using Ember for devious purposes. Basically, a good boy turns into a bad guy, and you have to stop him. And you get to play as one of four classes. These are the heroes in the game. Of course, you can name your hero whatever you'd like but first we have the ember mage trained in the arcane arts ember mages employ a variety of elemental spells to deadly effect this is your basic magic user archetype ember mages are very powerful at range but weak in close combat it's pretty simple they're good with cloth armor uh, don't let them get hit really hard and then next you have the berserker I'll show you the male form, of course. But the Berserker, which uses speed and spiritual power to fight with them, uh, think rogue plus barbarian plus shaman equals Berserker. They use a variety of weapons, but are great dual wielding because of their speed and crit. They are deeply close up, but they suck at a distance. Next is the Outlander. The Outlander is a ranged pistol user and is very fast. He can slaughter enemies in vast numbers. Here we go. There's the Outlander. Sorry about that. He can slaughter enemies in vast numbers if played right. The Outlander uses mostly leather for armor because of his speed, but also like all classes, he can wear almost anything with the right stats. If you like speed, power, and range, the Outlander is for you. Now the last class, which it is it's the Engineer. When we think of Engineers, we think scrappy, small classes who can't take a lot of damage, but can use robots for everything. Throw that crap out the door. This is what every Engineer should be like. Heavy armor, giant wrench, and robots to heal and kick everyone's ass. This is the game's main tank. Think Paladin plus Barbarian plus Gladys from Portal. That is what you are. You get heal bots, attack bots, and they are really epic. If you've played Torchlight 1... The skill system is the same. Every time you level up, you get one skill point for over here in the skill section. And then you get five stat points, which can be used in strength, dexterity, focus, and vitality. I'll go through and go ahead and explain everything. Strength is straight up and just increases all your weapon damage and increases the bonus damage from crit. Dexterity increases your crit and dodge of enemy attacks. Now, while focus increases your mana and elemental damage, and your execute. But vitality increases your health, your total armor, and the chance to block with shields. Now, of course, this is my level 24 Berserker. And so, he's got, you know, decent stats. You also have fame. Fame is just basically how much people like you. I'm liked right now, so pretty simple. Your HP's over here, MP's over here. Pretty easy. 
Now, over in the skills section, we have three skill tabs per class. There's the hunter skills, the tundra skills, and the shadow skills. Each, ta each skill tab can be mixed in between each other. And each one is a little bit different. For the hunter, you use a lot more pet and a lot more crit. Whereas the tundra is a lot more enhancement and whatnot. A lot of like AOE. And then the shadow skills is a lot of, I would say, like burst damage. But this is just for this class alone. Let's get into the other class. Here we have the skills for the Ember Mage. Now, of course, we have the three tabs. The Inferno skills, the Frost skills, and the Storm skills. Pretty easy. The Inferno skills are high damage. The Frost skills are a lot of AoE. And the Storm skills seem like a lot of crit. Of course this is a new character so I'm gonna have to level him up to really see what it's all like but that's your basics very simple very easy and you can always reset your skills at any point using skill reset potions or you can even just go into the console commands and change it as such hey so here's the outlander skills pretty simple you have the warfare the lore skills and the sigil skills now with these, I don't know as much about these. It seems like the sigil skills are more like dots and buffs, where the lore skills are more about just um, like stuns and like poison stuff like that. Well, I mean, I guess technically poisons would be on this, but still. And then the warfare is just rapid damage insane craziness so this is the that's the skills for the outlander let's get the skills for the engineer. here we have the engineer skills and the blitz skills are mostly damage pretty simple a lot of damage a lot of craziness the construction skills are as it sounds it's all about bots you have the gun bot the healing bot the spider mines the blast cannon, the shot grenades, sledge bots, and whatnot. Also, you have the bulwark for armor. And then the Igus is, as it sounds, it's about the shield. Fire bash, you have force field, shield bash, you know, dynamo field, immobilized copter, um, immobilization copter, Igus of Fate, sword and board, charge. Yeah, you get it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now, let's get back to the main. Hey, so we're back. And as we've gone through the skills, I just got to say, if you're tired of playing Diablo 3 or Path of Exile or really any other action RPG or any game, and you want something that's very simple, very straightforward, fun, just all around us, enjoyable to play I would definitely give this a try Runic has done an amazing job to make this one of the best games possible I mean one of the best games you can buy especially for the price I mean it's only 20 bucks that's a great deal you get a lot of content and whenever they add the torch ed into it people will be able to mod which people have already modded and added like necromancer classes and whatnot which I'm not going to show you in this video but they've modded the game already using the punk console commands and it's turned out really well so definitely a good one and so you can play offline I'm gonna show you that like let's load I'm just gonna load this character Helomer play you have three choices you have single player internet and LAN pretty easy I'm actually going, you know, there's not much else to say about this game that isn't great. The music is beautiful. I mean, I could sit here and listen to music all day, but of course I want to keep playing. And 
you know, I'm actually going to try and buy the soundtrack if I can, because the music is terrific. Some of the songs have actually given me shivers down my spine, you know, and they've pumped me up to want to fight. But overall, I'd give Torchlight 2, I'd give it a perfect score, 10 out of 10. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this game from what I've seen so far. It's a great game, no problems with it. I mean, there's so much stuff to do, you could get lost in here for hours. But, you know, don't take it from me. Go ahead, you know, play the game. It's 20 bucks. It's not that much on Steam. It'll run on Mac and PC, so that's very nice. And so, other than that, I would say, if you want a little more information, a little different, I would say look at AK, AKA Mike B on YouTube. Of course, you're watching on YouTube, probably. Uh, he has a very good Torchlight 2 video. And I know that Torchlight 2 has been out for a while, but I wanted to give you my review. You know, because some people have given it great reviews, some people have given it bad reviews. I don't know. I don't see a bad thing about this game. It's perfect. Where Path of Exile is very gory, you have to be online. Diablo 3 gets boring really fast. You know, this is a great game. I've not been bored in this game whatsoever. But this has been Mr. Ardizzle479's review of Torchlight 2. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, you know, share it with your friends. And just check me out. YouTube.com slash Mr. Ardizzle479. Peace. <laughs>